It's the inescapable prison. That's why they built it. People can't get away from it, and now we're doing it for fun. Regardless of how many times you've done it, it can make you nuts, because there's the fear. It's like, oh my God, what's the water going to be like today? The challenge of cold water and the sharks and the hills and the sand ladder is quite an experience. How cold is the water going to be? That's always going through my mind. My name is Michelle Faya, and I'm from, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a thrill seeker. For my 50th birthday, I bungee jumped off of Victoria Falls, the highest bungee jump in the world. The person that has had probably the biggest impact on my triathlon career was my father. He passed away in 2014, and he had, was always just my biggest cheerleader and always telling me that I could do whatever I put my mind to doing. What makes this race so special for me is it's been a bucket list item for probably the last 10 years and just really excited to be here. I'm Colin Owens. Uh, I grew up in Northern California here in Sacramento, but I currently live in Juneau Beach, Florida. I have never escaped Alcatraz, so that lottery to get in has been my gatekeeper so many years. When I was 15 years old, I was in a car accident that was almost fatal. They didn't think I was going to be able to walk again. When they told me that I possibly wouldn't be able to walk again, that just was not an option for me. And so I treated physical therapy as training for a sport. I worked hard at it every day until I could get into a wheelchair, onto a walker, using a cane to finally being able to walk without a cane. While I was in recovery, my brother tragically died of a heart attack playing basketball. The way I mourned was getting back out there and, and going and being in nature, almost like meditation with swimming and cycling and running and you know just being out and working hard. I'm really just approaching this race as an obstacle course. Every hill in front of me, I'm gonna work on that hill until I get through it, get to the top of it, pat myself on the back and go for the next one. Lauren Block from New York, New York. Alcatraz was my first triathlon, and I did that 10 years ago, and completely caught the bug. I think I've always been active, but as a kid, and especially as a gay kid, I was always really self-conscious, uh, mostly participating in team sports. So I used to sit in my house, basically watching from the window. Several years later, a good friend of mine was doing a California age ride. I went to watch them finish, and that was the moment where I'm like, you know what, I'm sick of being a spectator, and I want to be a participant. How many things have I said no to throughout my life because I was afraid? All of this, all the endurance sports really changed my life. Saying yes to things and showing up and stop letting fear get in the way. I have done Escape from Alcatraz twice before. Once in 1995, I also attempted to do Escape from Alcatraz last year, and I jumped off the boat, started swimming, and I knew it hurt pretty bad, like good chance something was broken. So I just kept swimming, actually made it uh, to the St. Francis Yacht Club, but uh, when I got out of the water, I couldn't stand up. Went to the medical tent and ended up, I had a broken leg, and that was the end of my day. My daughter is a cancer patient, and uh, often during a race when I'm struggling and thinking, geez, it would be a lot easier to quit, I think of what she's gone through, and it, it does help me to keep going. 